Edmer is first mentioned in a conversation between Rob and Rickard Karstark. Rickard states that the march to Hoster's funeral is a distraction, but Rob tells him that Edmer has his forces garrisoned there. Rickard remains unconvinced and doesn't think House Tully has enough men to make a difference in the war effort, made worse by Rob's undiplomatic marriage to Talisa Miger. Edmer presides over the funeral of his father, per the custom of House Tully, in which the departed is placed on a funeral boat and set on flames with a flaming arrow. Edmer fails at hitting the boat three times in a row. Just as the boat is about to disappear around a bend of the river, Brendan pushes his nephew out of the way and skillfully makes the shot. Knowing his accuracy was true and the shot would hit the boat, the blackfish turns around to walk away, dismissively showing up Edmer at the same time, as soon as he releases the arrow. After the funeral, Brendan chides his nephew for attacking Stone Mill. Edmer proudly asserts that his blunder sent Gregor Clegane scurrying back to Castley Rock with his tail between his legs. He says that they will not win this war if Rob is the only one winning any battles, and that there is enough glory to go around. Rob responds angrily and tells him it is not about glory, before reminding him that his instructions were to wait for the mountain to come to him. Rob informs him of his plan. He wanted to draw the mountain to the west, into their country, where he could surround and kill him. Edmer tells Rob they took hostages, including Martin and Willem Lannister. More than 200 men were lost in the battle less than what the Lannisters lost, but Rob furiously tells him that they need their men more than Tywin needs his. Edmer apologizes for his mistakes, but subtly tells Rob that it would not have happened had he known of his plan from the beginning. After Rickard murders Willem and Martin Lannister, Edmer insists that if word of this leaves Riverrun, Tywin will exact heavy reprisals for the deaths of his young nephews. Therefore, he suggests that they just quietly bury the boys, and simply keep silent about their deaths until the war is over. Rob, however, refuses to be a liar, saying he cannot fight a war in the name of justice if he will not serve justice within his own ranks. Caitlin says they should keep Karstark hostage, Edmer agrees. He adds that Rob should tell the other Karstarks that no harm will come to him so long as they remain loyal. Rob ignores their pleas, and he has Lord Karstark brought out to the courtyard of Riverrun to be executed during a driving rainstorm. Edmer then witnesses the execution. When emissaries from House Frey arrive at Riverrun to negotiate Walder Fry's terms of reconciliation with Rob, Edmer is pressured by Rob, Brendan, and Caitlin to take Rob's place in his previously arranged marriage to one of Lord Fry's daughters. The emissaries inform that he must marry Roslyn. Edmer initially refuses, stating that the laws of gods and men are very clear. No man can compel another man to marry. His uncle Brendan threatens to beat him. Rob tells him that if he refuses, his alliance with the phrase is dead. Edmer wants to pick one of his daughters for himself, the same courtesy that was given to Rob. He thinks that if he refuses, Walder will come back and offer him a daughter of his own choosing. Caitlin scolds him, angrily asking him if he is willing to risk their freedom and lives for a chance at a prettier wife. Rob reminds him that he wanted to make amends for his military blunder at the stone mill, but Edmer had something less permanent in mind. Rob eventually manages to convince him and Edmer reluctantly agrees. In the Riverlands, en route to the Twins, Rob's army is forced to make camp, their progress delayed by heavy rain. Caitlin warns them that the prickly Lord Frey will take the delay as a deliberate insult to him, but Edmer points out that Frey is getting the wedding he wanted. His sister counters that he is getting a wedding, but not the one he wanted, glaring at her son and his wife as she says so, pointing out that Frey wanted one of his daughters wed to a king. Rob retorts that Edmer is the best match house Frey has been offered in its history, before dismissing the Tully entourage. Upon finally arriving at the twins, Edmer nervously eyes Walder Fry's brood, trying to figure out which of the unattractive bunch is to be his wife. At the ceremony, Walder lifts Roslyn's veil, revealing her to be a beauty, much to Edmer's relief, Rob's shock, and Caitlin's, the Blackfish's, and Walder's amusement. At the wedding feast, Edmer enjoys himself immensely and, when Walder and Rob call for the betting ceremony, eagerly allows himself to be led away by the other Frey girls. It is only after his departure that the Red Wedding begins. Edmer is taken prisoner and remains a hostage of Lord Frey, who remarks to Lord Ruse Bolton that Edmer spent his wedding night in a dungeon.